All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about seeds. So there are three main parts to seeds that you need to know. So first of all, there's a little baby plant inside of every seed that you can see right here. It's just a young plant that could eventually grow into a full adult plant if under the proper conditions. So we have this baby plant in there, that's the first part, and this is also called the sporophyte. And, but what you notice here is most of the seed is contained in the stored food. All right, so this in, inside the seed, all this kind of empty space in here and in here, this is all just stored food that the plant can eventually use to try and grow into an adult plant. So the majority of a seed on the inside is this stored food and they call the cotyledon that basic in, inside the cotyledon that can be used by this young plant to eventually grow into an adult plant. So basically plants need food and this uh, stored food on the inside of the seed is what will help the plant eventually grow. And the final part of the seed here is the seed coat. So that's this outside layer of the seed here. And what the seed coat does is it basically just protects the plant. So if there are maybe insects that are trying to get inside the, inside the seed for some reason or animals, uh, the seed can protect the, or sorry, the seed coat can protect the seed from some of these other threats that it might see in nature. So some important plant vocabulary that we need to know. Pollen. Pollen is one of the ways that we, we create seeds or plants create seeds. So pollen, you can probably picture in your head these kind of little pollen particles. They're just these little kind of dust-like structures and what they carry is the plant's male sex cells. So these carry the sperm cells for a plant. So in order for a seed to be made, we need a few things to happen. We need that pollen to meet with a plant's egg cells. And we'll talk more about plant structures and their sexual reproduction in a future video. But this pollen basically has to come into contact with the female sex cell for the plant, the egg cell, so the sperm cells in the pollen need to come into contact with the egg cell uh, from the, uh, in the female part of the plant that we'll talk about later. And that's called pollination when that happens. So when a plant is pollinated, or specifically a flower is pollinated, then the pollen hits the egg cell and fertilizes the egg cell. And that just means it makes it able to uh, grow into a seed. If an egg cell is unfertilized, it can't grow into a seed. So we need the pollen, the sperm cells from the pollen, to hit the egg cells from in, in the female part of the plant, or in, in the case of a flower, a pistil, it's called, to fertilize the egg cell in there. And then once the egg cell is fertilized, it can grow into a seed. So we need pollen plus egg cell to make a seed. And the last vocab term we need to know here is germinate. That just means well, when a seed starts to grow. So you see when a, when a seed starts to grow, you'll end up with this little kind of sprout of a plant growing out of it. And that's called germination or as a verb, germinate. All right, thanks for watching this short video on seeds and I'll see you in the next one.